Hi, this is Squat, and in this video, I want to tell you about NF kappa B signaling. So here is a cell. This is protein called NF kappa B, and NF kappa B is a transcription factor. So its job is to go to the nucleus and change the transcription of this cell. But it's powerful, so usually another protein called IKB holds NF kappa B in place and prevent it from doing its job. Molecules can signal NF kappa B, and these molecules include TNF family molecules, like those used in immune system. Another one is EDA. EDA activates special ectoderm cells to differentiate. And also um, rank L, which stands for receptor activation of NF kappa B ligand. And rank L activates osteoclasts to digest uh, osteocytes. One thing that they all have in common is that there's a lot of uh, inflammation flavor to these. Uh, usually, these ligands can travel long distances. Things like WENT are water insoluble. So WENT signals are limited to where it's secreted. But NF kappa B signaling, not always. Ligands being able to go to far, far away, but only special cells have membranes for these special ligands. Here is a receptor, and when this receptor binds to its ligand, let's say it's TNF, then other receptors of the same type will come together and bind with this ligand. This polymerization activates the receptor, and the receptor can signal intracellularly. And often the receptors need another protein that binds to the receptor's intracellular domain to help carry the signal intracellularly. So ligands travel long distance. Some special cells have the receptors for the ligands. Upon binding, special protein helps propagate the signal. And eventually the signal is going to activate a protein called IKK. And IKK's job is to contact IKB and get rid of it. Without IKB, NF kappa B can now go to the nucleus and change the gene expression. And finally, this activation is common final signaling for many other pathways as well. There can be many other entries and these entry points can eventually act on IKK and change the expression of this cell. So it is a very important signaling pathway. And I want to just add one more thing about TNF. TNF can also activate other cell signals. TNF can bind to a TNF receptor. And instead of activating NF kappa B signaling, TNF results in, again, the polymerization of these receptors and uh, signaling intracellularly. And this signal is going to now get to a set of proteins called caspase and activate it. Activate the caspase dimerize and this dimer can activate other caspases so basically this tnf signaling is going to start this uh, domino activation of a lot of caspases within a cell and what the caspases do they chew up proteins and as the name suggests tumor necrosis factor results in necrosis or apoptosis some kind of death of this cell by activating lots of lots of caspase. So in summary, NF kappa B signaling uses activation of NF kappa B transcription factor to modify the expression of the cell and TNF can activate that. But TNF can also activate this TNF signaling pathway that results in cell killing itself.